unknown until it was spotted, first by fishermen off the coast of Indonesia in the 1990s. It looked like an octopus, but it could morph its shape in an instant to appear as seemingly any animal around it. At first, no one had any idea what it was. The first time I saw it, I just was blown away. You couldn't get a more spectacular animal. It really is the pinnacle of wizardry. The mimic octopus makes itself look like a living, moving animal. So it pulls all its arms around behind its body and swims along like a poisonous flatfish called abandoned sole. In other cases, if it's getting attacked, it puts six arms down a hole and raises the other two arms to look like a poisonous sea snake that has bands along its body. If that's not enough, it'll swim along looking like a poisonous lionfish with these banded arms looking like the banded spines that come off these very deadly fish. So far, 15 separate species are known to be in the Mimic Octopus Act and Norman is not always sure exactly what the mimic is doing. He observed this mimic scuttling along the sea bottom, looking something like a furry turkey with human legs. Sometimes it's hard when you watch a mimic octopus doing what it does to interpret what's going on. It's a bit like looking at ink spots in a psychiatrist's office going, uh, I don't know what that is, it could be a piano, it could be a fridge. The octopus has bilateral symmetry and this is because of its degree of cephalization whereby the nervous tissue is concentrated toward one end of an organism. This process eventually produces a head region with sensory organs. At its head region the octopus will have its eyes and brain and because the octopus is all tentacles it contains its organs like the stomach in the head. Its other sensory organs are its beak and tentacles. Octopuses have two openings in the gut, namely the mouth and the anus. The gastrointestinal tract, also known as the gut or alimentary canal, is a tube by which bilitarian animals transfer food to the digestion organs. In large bilitarians, the gastrointestinal tract generally also has an exit, the anus, by which the animal disposes of solid waste. Mollusks such as the mimic octopus has very different characteristics. One of their specialities is something called a coelom. It is a fluid filled cavity that develops within the mesoderm. A coelom is like a skeleton for the mollusks, providing a protection for the organs and it also provides space for the internal organ. Octopus and squid are different to humans as they have one main heart called the systemic heart and two smaller hearts located near their gills. The two smaller hearts perform the same task as the right side of the human heart. They pump blood to the gills where it dumps waste and loads up on oxygen, then pumps the oxygen rich blood back to the main heart. The main heart then pumps the refreshed blood through the octopus's body. After she lays her eggs, she cares for it for 53 months, then dies. An octopus moves by drawing water into a cavity in its body, then expelling the jet of water from a contractile mantle and aiming it via a muscular siphon. The force of the squirting is so powerful that it moves the octopus swiftly backwards through the water. The octopus's role in the food web. The octopus is important in the ecosystem as they are prey to some animals, so prevent these animals from dying, from starvation and they are predators to other animals to prevent these animals from overpopulating. Therefore they are in the middle of the food chain. Octopuses have the most to fear from sharks and other large fish that like to eat them. In order to confuse their predators or natural enemies, the mimic octopus is able to spray a dark cloud of ink. The ink keeps the predator from seeing clearly and the octopus gets away. Its main distraction is the way it mimics other creatures, like the ones you saw in the beginning of the video. An octopus mainly eats fish and shellfish. Pollination. Octopuses do not pollinate. Decomposition. When an octopus dies, starfish and crustaceans will help it to decompose into simpler matter. 
These are called decomposers. Bacteria will then break it down further and it will become part of the earth. There are enough octopuses in the sea, so there is not a big problem in trying to conserve them just yet. But if people don't stop trawling and eating all of them, they will die out and there will be a break in the food chain which will lead to other animals dying out. However, perhaps the most remarkable feature of the octopus is its intelligence. They are the most intelligent of all of the invertebrates. The octopus has distributed intelligence. Three-fifths of all of its neurons are located in its arms. Each arm of the octopus is equipped with over 250 suction cups, each one with the ability to rotate and grasp independently. Inside the octopus's mouth is a beak, the only hard part of the inserina body, meaning that the octopus can squeeze through any hole larger than its beak.